Hey everyone, Bright2J back with an all new episode of Yay Toys Plus, and today's review is going to be on the Mezco Toys 112 Collective PX Previews exclusive gray and black version of Wolverine, <sighs> better known as X Force. With that being said, let's take a look at this marvelous figure. So here's a closer look at X Force Wolverine, and I have to say, I'm really a fan of this figure. As noted earlier, he's definitely growing on me to becoming one of my favorites. Um, now this figure, the outfit is done a lot differently and the boots are even different, but we'll get into that. Now with the leather, well, their pleather, they basically decided to give this overlay and it's kind of similar to the Shadowland Daredevil pleather, as well as like the black on Deadpool. At least I think so. But if I'm wrong, please put a note in the comment section and I'll respond, you know, as soon as I can. Um, now with this figure, one thing I definitely like is that they gave him the red eyes. I know my lighting's not great, as I stated before, I am working on that. But you can see the red eyes. Uh, in my opinion, the grit came out best on this figure than the others. Something about it, it could just, it could be the same paint, it could just be mine, uh, it could easily be the way it looks with the black cowl versus the, you know, the yellow streak or the, the tan streak, you know, it may, it might just look better with the red eyes, I don't know, but anyway, so I really like this, um, as I also noted earlier, I picked this figure up about a week ago. I bought it at my buddy Noel's uh, Near Guard Toys. Uh, they're located in Park Slope, Brooklyn on 9th Street and 5th Ave on the second floor. So go in, say hi to Noel. Um, now, another cool thing is the nice red X on the belt buckle. I know in the brown version, there was no insignia. And this seems to be kind of an inverted version of what we got with the yellow and blue tiger stripe. Uh, the gray on the sides of the outfit also have like a pleathery feel over the fabric and it's pretty cool. Actually, I do also like the way the belt buckles came out or oh, the pouches rather the claws once again are on point. They're nice and sharp. So be careful. I know they're not metal, but they're made to look like metal. They're a harder plastic but nice and shiny, as you can see. Um, the kind of metallic overwash on the shoulder pads came out looking really nice, as well as on the belt and on the boots. Now, like I said before, the boots are different. Um, as you see here, this is a new look to, say, Tiger Stripe, which share the same boots with the brown and tan versions. So yeah, it's kind of different, you know? I like that they decided to change up the figure just a little bit more, you know? It's definitely, definitely pretty cool that they, uh, you know, even though it's the same body mold underneath and that it's still Wolverine, it's kind of a completely different figure. Now let's talk about Wolverine's accessories. So Wolverine comes with two heads. There's the gritted teeth head, and then you get the one that is standard in package, and that's the straight faced one. That's this one right here. Also with the red eyes looking really good. Again, I'm not sure if it's just mine or ones from like, you know, like it differs box to box, I'm not sure but I think it came out really nice looking. Another thing you get is the Maramosa blade. It also came with the uh, brown and tan version of Wolverine. This time the blade is silver and not red. And then you get the, um, the sheath. And the sword fits in the sheath pretty well, actually. So yeah, that's pretty cool. 
nice detail on the uh, on the what's supposed to be like the cloth. I forget what they call that off the top of my head. For like the strap that looks really good. Um, now of course you get those lovely claws on Wolverine, and then in the package you get a set of default fists, which would be standard pretty much with every figure ever. So uh, give you guys a better look at this. So yeah, that's the fist. I like the fact that they paid attention to detail and you could actually see that the claws would be coming out right through there. Sorry guys, trying to, there we go. So you can actually see that a little bit better now. So you get a pair of those. You get a pair of open choky grabby hands. Also looking really good with the nice attention to detail. And then this time around, you actually get two open hands, like grip hands, where on the brown and tan, you only got one, and I think it was the right. I'm not 100%. So again, comment down below to correct me or agree with me. But yeah, so those are the hands that you get. Uh, Wolverine, like every other Mezco, comes with a display stand that's two parts. So this is the uh, standard base, right? And then if you want to have him do a jump or pose him, you know, like he's about to leap, you get this piece here. And then again, that detaches through here. You pop out this little tiny Lego piece. Don't lose that or else you'll be... Wishing you didn't, uh, I've lost them before. Um, so here you also have the, uh, oops, sorry about that. So you got the, you know, swivels there, grip there. Mine's a little tight, I gotta fix that. Articulated here, articulated here, here, and then when it's in the base, you can, you know, rotate it side to side. I tend to not always use those, so I just put the little piece back in here. Uh, and then he also comes with the Ziploc bag, kind of similar to, say, Figma. Um, so, yeah, those are the accessories that come with Wolverine. So, this is Mezco Toys' third installment of Wolverine. The first Wolverine that we got was the Tiger Stripe Yellow and Blue from New York Comic Con. And then the second installment was the brown and tan version from a few months back. And if I can get them to stand. There we go. So honestly, they look great in a side-by-side-by-side -side -by -side comparison. However, I'm really leaning toward the X-Force version being my new favorite. Uh, the Tiger Stripe version was definitely number one for me. And then the brown and tan version came out. And yeah, sure, there's certain things that we don't like. The tortoiseshell uh, shoulder pads on the X-Force and the brown versions. Um, I like the shoulder pads on the Tiger Stripe better. But it's small little things. I know certain people had stitching issues. And you're going to get that. It's a, you know, faults happen. And then, of course, the uh, biker shorts on the brown version from the original promo photo to what we have. Sure, there are going to be some things that someone is going to nitpick on. I am not one of those people for the most part. I like all three versions equally. So with that being said, let's get into more of X-Force Wolverine. So one of the things I like about Mezco is that their option parts are pretty easy to swap. Um, so let's do some of that, shall we? All right. So first, we're going to take off these nice sharp claws. Because if I try to do any other option parts, I feel like I'm going to poke myself. Uh, we're going to put on the default fist. All right. 
pretty simple. Just unpeg, reveal the uh, piece there, and just pop right in. Really simple. Um, say you want to make Wolverine have a straight face, right? Unplug the head. Take the default head, pop right in, you get the snap, it's all good. Focus in a little bit better for you, there you go. Um, now, with the, uh, the cool thing is, if you have if you have the Comic-Con Tiger Stripe version, if you were lucky enough to grab one, whether it be at the convention or a third party. Now, he came with the unmasked Logan head. And what I like is that since it's the same body, you could unplug the head, take the Logan head, pop it right in. And honestly, I think this head looks best with this version of Wolverine. Like, hands down, this is probably the way I will display him every now and again. Um, so, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now, Mezco, right? Uh, Mezco has a really good amount of articulation that's hidden um, because of the fabric. It's also restricted sometimes because of the fabric. But let's get into our articulation. Uh, maybe we'll even call the new segment for future videos articulation time. Just a thought. You let me know. Anyway, so the head can go all the way around because it's on a ball peg. Looks down pretty far. Back about that much. The shoulder pads, mine are wonky, but the shoulder pads have articulation in them to uh, allow better mobility in the arms. The arms can go all the way around, but because I don't want to spend 20 minutes fighting with a shoulder pad, I'm not going to spin them. The arms can go out about that far on mine, probably a little further, but again, the shoulder pad. Um, the upper bicep does swivel. He does have a double jointed elbow, which mine seem to be very tight. Uh, as you saw with the wrist peg, you can get full mobility. He does have a diaphragm joint. Crunches not great. Doesn't go, but he goes back a little bit further than he crunches. Um, the waist swivel is kind of hindered on mine. So let me know if you have this figure and it's hindered or not on yours. Uh, he can do the splits, but I wouldn't go too far because you don't want to risk ripping the, uh, the stitching. Kicks forward about that far, back about that far, double jointed knees, the top of the boot does rotate, and he has some sort of ankle pivot, but you know, it's Mezco, their ankle pivot's not great, but it's, you know, it is what it is, and I don't, I don't mind it. So while I was thinking of words to say, I decided to keep Wolverine posed this way with the claws and the unmasked head. He's going into the display cabinet this way. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. You can always find the uh, channel under Yay Toys Plus with the Captain America insignia. I think that's a pretty cool logo. What do you think? Um, it's also a Mezco. Anyway, uh, so thank you guys to those who have already subscribed. The channel reached 212. I think that's really awesome of you for supporting the little guy. I'm going to definitely be doing a front face camera thing eventually, sometime soon, as a personal thank you. Um, anyway, you could definitely find this video on innercitygeeks.com as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at BRI underscore 2J on both Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to follow the channel, you could follow the channel at Yay Toys Plus. So with that being said, thank you so much. And there'll be pics at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, lots of stuff coming, um, including Rebel Tech Captain America, which, again, if you guys follow the channel on Instagram, 
you know that's coming soon. So thank you guys, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.